What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I thought it'd be fun, of course, to open up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Tactical Masters box for you guys. So yeah, this has just been released, of course. Uh, I was able to get mine a little bit late, I guess a day late, really, on it. And uh, this set, though, is one I've really been looking forward to because I've opened up, I think, a few times, actually, the Japanese version. If you guys, you know, of course, uh, like my channel and all that, you've been watching my videos, you know that I usually open up the Japanese versions first, and that way you kind of get to know what's in the set and basically this is another one of those sort of sets too where you have collector's rares in it and all that kind of stuff you have a chance of that there's a bunch of rares and it's kind of like the previous one which uh at the current moment escapes me what was it uh creators uh, I've, I've already forgotten the name the one with exo sisters and, and punks and all that so yeah it's basically another one of those sets and uh, like i said i've opened up the japanese version and uh, we kind of got a look at these cards already because we have the valiance the labyrinth and then of course the i believe the runic was the english name that they gave them so basically the runic one is like elder scrolls themed it reminds me a lot of skyrim of course uh, Labyrinth is Golden Boy as a waifu, basically, is the best way to put it, because, you know, she's very uh, trap-focused and all that, too. And uh, she'll be the most expensive for that reason, uh, <laughs> two different reasons. And uh, Valiants are kind of monster hunter -y or something. They're kind of like a guild, even. I don't know. They look pretty cool. They're like a pendulum archetype that also has a fusion. So anyway, uh, let's go on ahead, open this up, and see what we get. Hopefully a collector's rare. I think it's like one out of four boxes is the normal rate on that. So, yeah, be sure to like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know the three archetypes, which one's your favorite, which one do you plan on building. For me, I'm thinking I'll probably go with Runic, but I'm not sure. It's, by the way, I guess I didn't really explain it. It's more of a quick play, like you throw a lot of spells down kind of archetype. It, it looks pretty interesting to me. And I love Skyrim and I love Elder Scrolls. Can't wait for the next one. But let me know which one you guys are most excited about. And let's hope we get a collector's rare. And real quick, too, if you want to help out the channel, be sure to check out TCG Player. I'll have a link that will take you to this set so you guys can see all the different cards that are in this set and their prices. But also, after you click on that link, you buy anything from TCG Player. It doesn't have to be Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It could be Magic, Digimon, Pokemon. Uh, it does help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate that if you plan on using them anyway. Heard, too, they were bought out by eBay. So I'm wondering how that's going to work in the future. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it's a good thing because I have no idea if it's technically good or bad <laughs> so yeah here's one of the valiants the archer one pendulum fusion we have a uh, labyrinth labyrinth okay the uh, field spell scapegoats anti-spell fragrance more labyrinth and senate switch that's kind of interesting yeah i forgot that you would normally get the hollows kind of in the middle basically that throws me off i'm used to well, I kind of prefer whenever it was like all supers and secret rares, actually, with these kind of sets, but I'm not really used to the hollow being in the middle. Runic Dispelling. See, it's like a first person sort of thing. Pendulum Switch. We have Valent, uh, let's see, Genesis uh, Grand Duke. So that's one of their uh, Pendulum fu uh, Fusions. Blech, can't talk. <laughs> Farewell Labyrinth. Lament. Iron Wall. And a lot of interesting stuff, really. But yeah, I feel like Runic is going to be one of the cheaper, really, to build. Uh, Valiants are the cheapest, evidently, from what I've seen. So, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Quick Booster, Compulsory Evacuation of Ice, Valiants World, uh, Kong Wisen. It's kind of cool. That's their field spell. One of the main reasons I would want to use Valiant, though, it's, it's just me. It's just a preference thing, not that they're bad or anything. Pendulum Archetypes, I swear... When you read them, especially uh, with Endymion, it's a book. Like, each card, I swear, has the longest effects. Because you have that pendulum effect and the monster effect. And I'm like, dude, that's a lot to read. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just me, maybe, on that. Runic Golden Droplet? Oh, that's cool looking. But, yeah, I could be in the minority on that. Whatever. And, you know, maybe I'm calling myself stupid, even, because I don't want to read. I'm, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh players we don't like to read anyway. <laughs> it's kind of the meme. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot to them. But I do like their designs. See, look at all that text. That's crazy to me. Been griefing? Labyrinth Barrage. More like the Lilith and all that kind of stuff. I'll say we're mainly going with spell cards, of course, because like I said, Runic is basically just about all spell cards. <laughs> they have some fusions and stuff, but... Pretty much. Runic Smithing Storm. We have Hojo, Valiant Warrior. 
Trap Trick. There's some good collector's rares in this too. Like Anti-Spell Fragrance, I believe is one of the collector's rares. That would be a nice one. I'm not sure if Compulse is. I was hoping Compulse would be chosen, so I don't remember off the top of my head. But I hope it is one, because that'd be awesome. Runic Destruction. That and Compulse is like one of my favorite trap cards ever. Miss using it back in the day. I'd use it like in everything. In the old days. Come on, there we go. Bear Blocker. Scapego. Oh, we might have something. Anti Spell. And we have a uh, Runic Tip. Well, there you go. That's like the one where it shows like the. Uh, like his leveling up tree, basically. I think it's how you put it. But yeah, you can see all that. I think it looks awesome. Uh, again, the artworks look amazing. So we got rid of the runic cards. Yeah, usually if you start seeing a bunch of rare cards at the beginning, you know, and, and it's not like up front, like they're like super star, that means you have something. It should at least be ultra rare or collector's rare or something. That's how it worked too. Grand Creators, that was a previous set. There we go. <laughs> Random, I know. Oh, here's the fusion, actually, for them. We have uh, Moon and uh, the Runic Wings. It's pretty cool. Again, Power of the Elements, they do also have another uh, fusion, by the way. You should already have that one. Because technically, this was supposed to come out before Power of the Elements, so, yeah. They have a couple pretty cool fusions, though. We have Valiant's World, uh, Shinra... Bencho? Bencho, I guess? Sure. Is that like their other... Yeah, I think they have like two field spells or something. Again, it is interesting. Hey, you know what? If I got enough of their collector's rares, maybe I would build them. I'd have to get like a summary of each effect. <laughs> but it would be tempting. Labyrinth Setup. I know a lot of my friends, too, are wanting to build Labyrinth. Again, there's... The best YouTube-friendly way of saying it is there are two reasons, and I don't blame them. So, <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm just saying. <laughs> we know why. Buster Baron, there you go. I totally understand. Hey, if I get all the stuff I need for Labyrinth, I, I will simp, too. <laughs> so... Alright, we only got one Ultra Rare, so that's making me a little worried about a Collectors. We'll see, though. Oh, something? Is that? Yeah, that is a Collectors Rare! There we go! There's Labyrinth! Oh, man! Uh, we have Ariana the Labyrinth Servant! I was about to say, because I was like, usually if one side of one of these kind of sets, you don't get two Ultra Rares or something, to me it's like, no, we're, we're not getting a Collectors Rare. That's normally how it works, but yeah. <laughs> we got, uh, she has like her two servants, and then, of course, the, the main woman. <laughs> so... I, I think one of my friends was trying to look for uh, the, like, he couldn't pre-order the servants, but he could get, you know, um, pretty much every other collector's rare. They, they didn't have that for some reason. I don't know if they didn't know if it was confirmed, but uh, he'll, he'll probably uh, message me after this video. So, that, that's cool. I can't believe we actually got a collector's rare already. Man, I do plan to buy a lot of this set, so. Uh, sleeves, really. I think I'd have more sleeves room. No, those are Pokemon. Uh, there's Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves. Okay. I need to be the right size of sleeve. Otherwise, it really doesn't help, does it? There you go. Dragon Shield sleeves. I usually have a stack of those next to me. Well, I'm happy with my box. You get a collector's rare. That's a good day. I don't care if it's the cheapest one. I'll, I'll take it, you know? <laughs> I think that's a good one, though. Anyway, we have Archfiend's Ghastly Glitch. The fun word. Fun words. Yeah, that's a good first box. Like I said, I'll definitely have more openings. Another one of Moonin. Hey, if I want to get all my Runic stuff, I could probably sell or trade that one and get everything I need. I don't think Runics are the expensive. I could be totally wrong. They might have the most expensive card in the set, but I don't think that's the case the last time I checked. Anything can change, though. Like I said, use that TCG player link at the very least to, to see the prices. Oh. Oh, well, there we go. It's one of the Valiants. Uh, we have uh, uh, Shinom the uh, Valiant's Priestess. I think that's how you say that. I'm These names, you, you know me. You know what channel you're on on that. <laughs> 
I try my best. But Japanese names. Not the easiest for the, the Texan boy to say. And we got Valiant's World uh, Cohen Weizen. Very nice, though. I love the artworks, like, of all three of these. It's kind of the same way, too. There's the next set already. It just came out for, for Japan. I already ordered it, so I should have it maybe next week would be my guess. Again, it's another one of those where, like, I like all three of these archetypes. It's, it's going to be a problem. So, yeah, another one of Baron. That's always the problem I come up with with these sets where it is about three different archetypes. I'm like, man, I wish I had the time or money or whatever to build all three, honestly. They look fun. Quick booster. Drone Lockbird. I think I heard that's a collector's rare, which <laughs> that's going to be a pricey one. Then Hoja uh, Valance Warrior. Yeah, I bet that that might be the most expensive one. I, <laughs> just out of guessing. I haven't seen the prices of the collector's rares before recording. But again, since the set just came out, that's all going to fluctuate. So, Pendulum Fusion. Fing Griefing. Runic Flashing Fire. Still like that. I'm going to build them. At least for fun. Like, I don't think Runic's going to take over the meta or anything, but you got to build what's fun. What else? Pendulum Switch. Runic Spelling. There's the other fusion. Okay, I was about to say, I thought there was another one in this set. We have Gurfa the Runic Fangs. I was pretty sure we had another one in this set, but <laughs> it's the first time we've seen him. Only a few more packs. We should be missing an Ultra Rare, I think. It's, I think it's normally three, so we'll see. Archfiend Ghastly Glitch. So many spells and traps in this set. It's kind of nice to see. Can we end with our Labyrinth Waifu? I mean, we got the Collector's Rare, so... We've gotten a little bit of everything, actually, from this box. It hasn't really been one archetype, so... Runic uh, Freezing Curses. And now... Last pack. Can we at least end with that Ultra Rare? At the very, very least, but I we, we're going for the Waifu. Let's see. Let's see if I call it. You guys have any guesses? Let me know. Let's see if you call it right. Bear Blocker. Runic Smithing. Okay, we should have something. And... Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> it is uh, Valiant War is the place of beginning. So yeah, it's one of the Valiant cards. Eh, again, that's probably the one I'm not going to build. I do like them, though, so at least I got my Ultra. I was kind of more worried I wouldn't get anything. <laughs> but you know what? Again, you got a Collector's Rare. That That's a good day. That I, that makes me happy right there. So that's that's how you win one of these sets. I don't care if I got the cheapest one, which I, I'm like almost 100% sure that is not the case with that one. But uh, you, you know you've done good. But let me know what you guys think about this set. Again, let me know of the three archetypes, which one do you like the most. Again, I think I'm going to go with Runic. But let me know what you guys think on that. Do you like Valiants? You know, and tell me why. I'd like to actually hear, you know, do you like Pendulum Archetypes? Again, I don't really like because there's always so much on the effects, but I'm not saying they're bad. I just really hate reading, evidently. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe that's just me. Again, maybe I'm calling myself stupid. Or if you're a man of culture and you like Labyrinth, too. Don't, don't forget that one because, yeah, that does actually look like a fun deck to play, though. I, I would be, you know, if I'm honest with myself, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be safe out there. Have fun. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.